Welcome to Royal Secrets. Meghan Markle's family did not honor Princess Diana. What Harry thought. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Prince Harry hoped that Meghan Markle's mother, Diana, would be recognized by her two sisters and best friend. Since Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's relationship was made public, Princess Diana and Meghan Markle have frequently been contrasted. In his book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, author Tom Bow wrote that Prince Harry hoped that Meghan Markle's mother Diana's two sisters and best friend would recognize the parallels between their mothers. But the author stated that he was disappointed because Julia Samuel, Lady Sarah McCorkadale, Baroness Jane Fellows, and Diana's brother Earl Spencer were unable to recognize the resemblance between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's late mother. The actress learned that her neighbor in Kensington Palace had even less time for her because the Vanity Fair article had raised the Cambridge's distrust of Meghan, Tom Bauer claimed. By that time, Harry had introduced Meghan to Julia Samuel, Diana's best friend, and her two sisters, Jane and Sarah. Harry believed that Diana's relatives and acquaintances would draw comparisons between Diana and his future wife, the author wrote. He claimed that both had the same issues. He felt let down. Nobody concurred that his lover and his helpless mother shared any similarities. They believed Meghan would not fit in with the royal family, which made him feel even more uneasy, the author alleged. Their apprehension was expressed by Diana's brother Charles Spencer, the author wrote. Spencer chimed in at William's request. Spencer, who had been married three times, urged his nephew to delay getting married. His counsel elicited a sour response. Harry would later say of establishing Meghan's place in the family, this was going to be incredibly hard. In another news, as the royals get ready for their first Christmas without the monarch, Kate pays a moving homage to the Queen. Tuesday's inaugural state banquet of King Charles III was attended by Kate, the Princess of Wales, and Prince William, who were both dressed to the nines in exquisite family antiques. Cyril Ramaphosa, the President of South Africa, was welcomed to the UK at a formal luncheon hosted at Buckingham Palace. In a touching tribute to her late mother-in-law, Kate wore the Cambridge lover's not tiara for the occasion, which was a favourite accessory of Princess Diana. The princess also wore a bracelet and brooch in memory of the late queen, who passed away in September. Along with the tiara, Kate also donned a brooch with the image of Queen Elizabeth II and a bracelet made of the late monarch's pearls. The late queen's first Christmas will be celebrated without her by the royal family. According to various reports, the family will experience dramatic changes during the holiday season and will be less formal than they are accustomed to being. The tiara that Kate wore to the state supper was a former favourite of Princess Diana in addition to her honours to the late Queen. Royal Authority Neil Sean spoke in a previous video on his YouTube channel, Neil Sean's Daily News Headlines, on the tight bond between Kate and the late monarch. Mr Sean at the time referred to Kate as the late Queen's very close confidant. The late Majesty and Kate had a really deep bond, he said, noting that Kate spoke with her every single day. Kate and William were referred to as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge prior to the inauguration of King Charles III's reign on September 8. Kate has borne the title of Princess of Wales since the start of his reign, replacing William and Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. Although Queen Consort Camilla was given the title of Princess of Wales when she wed the then Prince Charles in 2005, she is the first member of the family to openly use it. Out of respect for the late Princess Diana, the royal chose to go by the minor title of Duchess of Cornwall, which Kate also received upon the king's accession. Thanks for watching.